I want to go ahead and take off this fan shroud. It's not properly put on here because of that 3 inch body lift. You know, you raise everything up so some of the things have to go down. So I'm going to be taking off the fan shroud. Just give a lot more access to the front here. And I can show you guys what's really going on. made some room here getting rid of that radiator getting rid of the fan shroud very easy to get out one bolt on each side for the radiator of course since I already had the hoses off that was it just pull it on out and then get the fan shroud out now I gotta find a uh, socket that fits onto here and get a breaker bar so it can loosen up this belt as you can see the belt is already breaking up so it's time for a new belt Maybe time for a new idler pulley. It depends. I'm gonna have to check these on out. But let's go ahead and get this serpentine belt off. All right, so I'm underneath the car here. You can see the crank and then the uh, smog pump. So I wanna be deleting the smog pump along with some of its hoses. And uh, first thing you gotta do is loosen up the bolts holding on the pulley itself. These were pretty loose for me. I just had to hold the uh, pulley by hand and with the other hand with the ratchet get these loose. Bolts are taken off, take off the pulley here. Now we'll start taking off the smog pump. There's a bolt in the front and that's the reason why I had to take off the pulley. And then there, it looks like there's going to be a bolt in the back that holds it on as well. And I'm not sure if anything else holds it on, I think just those two. Smog pump is loose right down here if you can't see it. I'm gonna take off the hose that connects up to here to this like can thing. We're gonna be deleting this also. So I'm gonna loosen it down here and then there's another hose on there that I'm gonna have to loosen up. All right, and as you guys can see, here's the smog pump, like I said earlier. Years ago when I was little, we emptied it out just so we wouldn't have to use a different belt. But finally going to be deleting it. Another thing to get rid of just because it's broken, I'm pretty sure this is like the EVAP here. This is just all broken up, real nasty. And uh, the hose is broken off obviously here. I'm going to just take off this bolt here and see if it comes off. Got rid of that canister, time to get rid of this canister here as well. This belongs with the smog pump, so I could just take this on out. Alright, I got the two bolts that was underneath the fender, or the fender liner. It's two 7 sixteenths. So now, this should just pull right on up, and could get rid of that. While I'm here, I'm going to be deleting this coffee can looking thing. Um, just unplug these vacuum lines going to be getting rid of those but there's a bolt underneath on the fender liner the same for uh, the other little canister I took out so another 7 16 there's just one nut holding that on and that comes right off so that is trash Here's the uh, vacuum hoses that was going to that coffee can. We're going to just follow it. And then it connects over here. Follow it all the way. Connects here. We got the green and the black. And then the red keeps going on in. So here we have the red and the black, and then it's coming out with the green. 
and so we could delete the green as well I do believe that one goes to the EGR so we'll get rid of these hoses a lot of times especially it's already 2023 these plastic hoses are going to be leaking air. You could have a vacuum leak and cause all types of issues. And honestly, I think the issue that the Bronco was having when I was taking everything apart was whenever that EGR was deleted, the vacuum for the EGR was still going through. So, so that's why I was having the issues with the RPM. So getting rid of those, just trying to clean up the engine bay while I'm doing all this work. You know, it's just kind of like a refresh, especially for a 93 Ford Bronco just trying to simplify everything and get it running right so of course whenever we put everything back together gonna to have to block this uh, vacuum off there may be some other vacuums I'll be able to delete but for now we got rid of those coffee cans and the smog pump there's still some other hoses that I gotta go ahead and get rid of for the smog pump so let's get on to that so next on the smog pump removal connected to a smog pump over here is a hose and if you follow this hose, this goes to the side, it connects over here, goes to the back of the block, and then it splits off, connects to the heads, and then it does have some vacuums on there as well. I'm going to be getting rid of all of these hoses and tubes and block the ports in the back of the head for that smog pump. And it's really going to help clean up the engine bay as well since we already got rid of these canisters. The bolts that hold on the, uh, the tubing is a 9 16 and they're really rusted. So I've just been going back and forth, back and forth and I broke the first bracket. I'm going to go ahead and break that second bracket in the back because it's definitely not turning. I mean it's turning but yeah it's just not going to work right. But let me get at it. Alright, so there we go. Part of the tubing out. Just broke those brackets, bending back and forth. So that's out. Okay, so this valve is out along with all these hoses. Take that on out. Okay, so there's this other pipe that's supposed to go to the cats. And I think I remember when I was little, we welded it up because we gutted out the cats as well. Um, so you're gonna have to do that if you're doing this to your 5.0, to your F-150, whatever it is. And so, just to let you know, gonna be getting rid of this as well, which is for the smog pump. You'll have to get rid of that tubing and close the hole up wherever it is on the OEM exhaust if you have it. For this pipe in the back, it's gonna have a bolt on each side if you can see there's a bolt right here holding it on and then there should be a bolt on this other side which I already took off they're both going to be a half inch socket and it's a little bit difficult and honestly I'm not sure how I would have got those bolts off if the Bronco didn't have a three inch lift so I had the little breaker bar half inch on there and then I was able to get this bar on there and break those bolts loose and here's the bolt that was on the driver's side and I still need to finish taking off the bolt that's on the passenger here is basically everything I'm deleting out of the Bronco here got the smog pump connecting to its canister wherever that goes to and then got the uh, rubber hose and then the pipe connecting to the valve here with some vacuum hoses getting rid of all these vacuum hoses here Still going to have to leave the solenoids connected just so it doesn't get a check engine light but we'll be able to free up those vacuum lines and then additional to that I'm getting rid of the uh, vacuum canister here getting rid of that just had to pull the line the red line here and then of course that does also connect into all these other lines for the smog pump and then have the pipe here that connects to the back of the heads took out those bolts half inch socket on there 
and then this pipe here that's supposed to connect to the catalytic converter I believe had to go ahead and plug that up or that is already plugged up for me so I am gonna have to take care of the engine plug those holes up on the back of the head and then we're gonna have to get a shorter serpentine belt as well with it so I'll show you guys how I have the vacuum hose running how we plug up the head and how I run that shorter serpentine belt and how it all comes together now I'm not sure if I'll be able to fully delete the evap depends on how it runs if I get a check engine light or not and um, I might come up with an alternative solution instead of having this big canister on there so we'll see on how that goes and this is how the engine is looking right now cleaned up the engine bay so looking a lot more bare the way I like to see it just gotta run the necessities on there but of course guys just drop a comment down below if you have any questions on removing any of these parts on here I hope I got a good picture for you guys for you guys that need a something physical to see and someone else doing it so just let me know if you have any questions hope you guys like this video and hopefully you guys are subscribed to the channel because I have a ton of projects which means a ton of videos I could be doing for you guys working non-stop so make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to catch you on the next one player